guess who should be leaving for work and guess who is not. try to film this in five minutes or less. This is going to be a challenge. This is just something I kind of came up with last minute because I've been obsessed with highlighters. That's what we're talking about today. My top five go. Very first one I want to talk about is the Wet n Wild Reserve Your Cabana from the Color Icon Collection. It is technically a bronzer, although it looks very much like a highlight and this is just the perfect highlight. It is not too shimmery. can almost use it as a powder, but it does have a slight sheen and it is perfection. And I just use this with a tapered fluffy brush. Anything like something like the small tapered brush from e.l.f. or um, Real Techniques also has a tapered brush, but this one's even better because it's more tapered. And you want to look for one that's fluffy and not dense because it is a powder. Number two might surprise you. It might not. Probably not because I talk about it all the time. So sorry that I have to mention it again, but I must. Ready, Set, Gorgeous CoverGirl Concealer. It's amazing. This is the lightest color. This is fair. And it's just perfect. It's a liquidy concealer. And I just go ahead put it right underneath the eyes, make a triangle, blend it on out with my Sigma F86, which is kind of like the e.l.f. small tapered brush, but it's more dense and it's also synthetic. As you can see, they're very similar, but this one is synthetic, so it's better for creams. It does the job perfectly. You don't even have to highlight with anything else. Just bring it on up there, blend it on out, and you're good to go. Number three. I bought this in the e.l.f. haul. I have it. The concealer is okay. It kind of reminds me of the Ready Set Gorgeous, but Ready Set Gorgeous is a lot better. But the highlight is awesome. Again, not a shimmery highlight at all. None of these have been so far, except for the Reserve Your Cabana. There is the e.l.f. under eye concealer and highlighter. The highlight is bomb. There it is. It's white. You can kind of see. It just is the perfect to it's the perfect thing to brighten without any shimmer so I've been obsessed with that as well and I really haven't played with this way too much so I'm not quite sure what brush would be good I've just been using my fingers and it's been working out fabulously it's something I just came up with thank you to the glam life guru who said Jouer in and feather which is a cream eyeshadow is perfect for highlighting I have that on today you just go ahead Use with your finger, tap, 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 blend it on in, use a little bit right underneath the brow, and it's perfect. It hits the light just right. If you're looking for a shimmery highlight, well, if you're looking for a champagne shimmery eyeshadow that can duo as a highlight, this is beautiful. So there is a swatch. Elf Radiance Enhancer, this has been a favorite highlight for years. Same thing, it has a pink sheen to it. So I just go ahead and put it right there and then blend it out with my fingers and I am good to go. So yeah, none of these are super awfully shimmery. The most shimmery one is going to be the Elf Radiance Enhancer. Barely use that one anymore, but I still had to mention it because it is a favorite. So yeah, that was a pretty quick, I'm proud of myself. Is it under five minutes? Well, it's hot. When am I gonna learn not to wear a sweater underneath the bright light? When, when, when? That's it. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.